All right, on to our HubSpot marketing feature of the week. Creating a random list sample in HubSpot. And this relates to stage three of the HubShots framework. So this is a really handy feature, gives you ability to create a random sample from your list. And you're able to actually select the sample size. Once you select that option under the actions menu, you can actually say how many contacts you want to see in that and it'll give you a percentage of contacts in there as well. So a great way if you're wanting to test something out. Now you, you did a test with something to do with this, did you not Craig? Well, actually, one of our clients, I wish I'd had this available a couple of weeks ago. They said, can you create uh, a sample? We, we just wanted to get three or 4,000 people from their list. I think they had hundreds of thousands of contacts in their database. We just want to get a sample that we're going to offer a special market research survey that they work with. Can you just give me a sample of 3,000 people? And we're like, oh, yeah, I guess so. How do we do that? So we were creating this active list with criteria to try and whittle it down. Oh, I use create date here and some other parameters to get it down. And it was kind of just a bit, a bit of whack-a-mole trying to get this list. I wish we'd had this because I just wanted a random sample. Bang, I just would have said, oh, 3,000. Creates a static list for you. Would have been fantastic. So thanks HubSpot. It's the little things, but this will be really handy. Now we're going to talk about um, using multivariate CTAs on our site and some of the results. And so this is in stage four of the HubShots framework. And so with this, um, oh, and this is actually on the Zen site, um, testing a variation. So we've got four variations of the CTA. First one is uh, all in capitals, so it's talk to an advisor. Variation B is talk to a strategist. Variation C is talk to a specialist. And variation D is actually the same as variation A, but in uh, upper and lower case, so not all uppercase. And what is interesting is, is that we want to see what, what's performing, right? So HubSpot's going to um, show these equally, and then we can measure the click and the submission rate. So what we want you to do is to pause this and go and see if you're testing any CTAs. And if you're not, go and create a test. And it can be as simple as what we have just demonstrated here. But what did you want to say about it, Craig? Well, the summary so far, we've had it a month or so on the site. I wanted to check whether the, t the person that you're talking with, whether an advisor or a strategist or specialist, had any impact on whether people clicked the button. Early indication is very little impact. I mean, something is one of them did work a little bit better than others, but it's not significant. St well, it's not statistically significant, but that's good to know. Whereas if one of them had been a clear winner, that would have been something we doubled down on. The really good thing about HubSpot CTA is this is a multivariate CTA. So I know a lot of people have buttons that's a CTA, but they don't check variations. It's so easy to add. Okay. My takeaway is just try some variations, leave it for a couple of months, that's what I'm going to do, and then come back and see if that gets any statistically more confident. Um, but the key thing is also the submissions. If you look at the submission, we've only had 10 submissions so far based on actions based on this CTA. So it's so small, the numbers are so small, they're kind of meaningless because all it needs is one of them to have a, two extra submissions and it totally changes the submission rate. So. You need larger numbers, but the takeaway is just start your testing, forget about it for a couple of months, and then come back and measure. I think we should be doing this on a, on a ton of things throughout the site. CTAs is such an easy one to do. Um, the great thing I really like, because we use the CTA throughout the page. So one of the things that's really good about multivariate is, let's say you've got the button up in the, the header, and then it's throughout the page in various places. The variation will be the same all the way throughout the page. So you've got one clear CTA on the page, one CTA message. So it's not kind of oh, four variations appearing on the one page at one time. I really like that. I think the, the HubSpot CTAs are smart. They'll just do it. I mean, you can go to another page and it might flip it out. But then everything on the page is consistent. So it's really good. No downside of using multivariates. Get into it, start testing, and then come back and make informed decisions.